Topside TV, the Montreal Canadiens have lost. The reverse retro streak continues. I mean, they hit a post in the last 10 seconds. A lot of, of posts tonight. A, a lot, lot of posts. Post. There, there's a curse. There, there, there is, is one. You can't, you can't tell me otherwise. Or you could also just tell me that Jake Allen just decided to tank at the last second. You can also just I say that. Sure. I mean, Jake Allen letting in two quick goals at the beginning of the game. I was thinking, I was waking up from a nap and I saw that we got scored on two goals. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, uh, how am I supposed to get excited for a game? But they clawed back into it thanks to Le Numero So Wasabi Dissat. Number 77. Sick Kirby Doc. Ladies and gentlemen, and two goals by half hour on the top over like the hour. That one, uh, you know, the news or whatever is. Now, listen, Harvey Pinard. He's making quite a name for himself. Like, let's be honest. Like, it's good. It's really good to see. It's not sustained, like, you know, unsustainable a little bit. But it's really good to see that he's starting to make a place for himself. Uh, it's super nice to see him. He's, he's a good player. I mean, he's grinding every night. Like, yeah. some guy who's telling us, oh, he's trying to grind a delegate. But he's not staying in front of the net and waiting for shots. He's actually creating chances. Sniping and dicing. All over the, all over, the, all over the. The, the, ice. the insiders said he, he sold this condo in Laval. Insiders, insiders, insiders. Okay. No, we're not so sure about that. So okay, okay, like, right. He's right. probably he's probably staying much Montreal for a long time. He's a good player. I hope so. I mean, he deserves it. He really deserves it. He took his chance. He's made his, uh, he made his point. Now, I mean, uh, tonight, I mean, you know, I mean, we can talk about really the game, but I mean, the overall thing is good for the tank. We didn't lose it. Uh, you know, hold your time. So that's good news. Uh, I don't know. We've got such a long break. The next game is against the Islanders, and until then, we're gonna have the All-Star game. I hope Nick Suzuki gets some rest, and I really hope that the medical staff reevaluates how they've been dealing with their players because at this moment, you look at the team tonight, and it's kind of a direct result with how many injuries have been taken to this Canadian team, and it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We're the worst team over two years with this many injuries. Well, I feel like even with the injured players, the result would be the same. You feel? Even worse. Because, I mean, listen, Sean Monaghan on a, on a second or third line, now with Kirby Doc on a, on a center, like, yeah. it makes a big that, difference. That would change a lot. That would change a lot. Of but he just yeah. had to play against Calgary when he, you know, probably broke his foot. Like, let's be real. He was in a walking boot and he played against Calgary. You know, like, the, these are the decisions, like, if you're going to shut down Caulfield, why not shut him down in December when it's two games? That's it. Like the first game was against, against Dallas, Dallas, Dallas Nashville. Nashville. So after Nashville, hook him off. Hook him off. Like the game, like at that point against Nashville, we already knew that the season was going nowhere good. So I think they should have made that decision then. And I hope that, you know, eventually Kent Hughes is supposed to have a press conference to explain this. I, I really hope we get some answers. Outside TV, thanks Outside for TV. watching every day. Thank you very much. Keep watching, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.